Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Rim Dwarf World Fortress! We got nine, count them, nine living, somewhat healthy, alcoholic dwarves uh, going up on here. Simeon's still a little bit um, hurt from uh, when she got, she? She got beat up while uh, attempting an escape attempt. And then attempting an escape attempt. Sure. It was that that much of a failure. It was an attempt at an attempt. Makes sense to me. Um, so yeah, so she's still in a little bit of pain from that. I'm actually going to get these marble chunks hauled out of priority because I can foresee some period of time when people decide to grab this because it's fairly close. And then this wall making the pathfinding really, really dumb. So we're going to pre-haul this away. Even though it's not the most efficient use of our time right now. I was going to say efficient use of our time at this time. <sighs> Apparently I can't work today. Listen, I had a very long, long day yesterday. Yesterday, Ascension and I went uh, on a trip to Stirling. I'm still in Scotland. We went to Stirling for uh, a very long day because it's a couple of hours by train from where we are. And we did like constant walking the entire time and got home very, very, very late. Like basically the last bus we could possibly take to get back home. So I'm a little bit uh, brain dead is what's going on here. But I think we're going to have a great time. Certainly, if we, we get some crops actually growing, it is the seventh. We still don't have one person growing or planting plants, which like Pearl of Kung, he's got to deal with this entire farm, which means it takes a long time to get all the crops into the ground, which is a little too bad. Um, and I'm a little bit worried that we're not going to get our first harvest in time. Any chance we can hunt something? My sources say no. Darn it. They have, uh, you know what, I'm going to mark these so that at some point it'll get done. You and you, and then at some point we'll also do these exploratory tunnels. Uh, we've got some metal and not really anything else. Oh good, you're fully healed. Um, not really anything else to do. I might, well I mean in terms of, of mining, like we're not desperate for metal. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these, um, these mining jobs over here. Not that one like that, but rather like that. Excellent. So we'll see what we can see over here. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be another big deposit. And sort of pre-cutting into this space will be good for later when we need more bedrooms, which actually we kind of need now anyway. All right. Wall is coming along. We are very low on marble. Some of the traps are going up as well. Do, do, do. Doors takes a little bit longer, I think. And our research is going to be halted slightly because of this. No more corpses kicking around. We could even consider... Now, I don't know if any of these corpses or any of these um, graves... Yeah, none of them are filled with our own people. So I think it's probably okay for us to put in some sort of command to open this. Now, what I'm going to do in the hall... Um, bury corpses, I'm going to bring down to like a three-level job. Um, because I don't know if cremation is over here. Yeah, do cremation. We're going to make sure to leave it as a one. So that... If we pop these these boxes open, we don't instantly rebury people. Instead, they'll get cremated, and that's going to be good. We can decide to like tear some of these graves apart, or if we're in a time when we don't have power, we could just sort of quickly bury people. Um, you know what? Uh, the other thing we can do, actually, I'm actually thinking we don't we don't burn our own colonists. We bury them. So really, we don't need this base job at all. We just have like, so strangers get converted into fertilizer somehow. And our colonists get cremated, or get buried. And I think that's going to be excellent. And I'm going to deconstruct this particular grave right here. Oh, um, I will ensure safety. This is your guest room. Let's go and turn this off from the prisoner. And instead, guest, guest, guest. There we are. Actual visitors. Now, we're not really in a place to do some recruitment, but it doesn't mean we couldn't try. I mean, I like the fact we are sucking up to them. Pessimist, jealous, hard worker's nice. I don't know. Some of these are a little bad. Psychically sensitive, too smart. Nope. Okay. So we'll just keep sucking up, making friends. Hopefully the tribe will send us some better people later on. I feel like we've seen them before. We do have a guest room. I don't know where you're going. Are you just like passing through? No, you're hanging over there. Well, listen, I was saying something about guaranteeing your safety, but not if you're not actually in our defended area. Okay, at least Toxo is a little smarter. So, there you go. All right. Wall, good. That's all blocked off over here. At very least, it makes us a little bit more defensible, which is very nice. Still got our Chamber of Death over here. These are all turned to be auto-rearmed, which is good. Yeah, we're getting some, like, bad thoughts. We're seeing corpses. We're seeing actual, like, decayed corpses as well. But it's better going forward. 
There's actually a lot of them. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of bad thoughts simultaneously, but meh, meh. Yeah, major break risks. Probably already. Yeah, observed rotting corpses multiple times. How long does this last as well? Okay, not too long. Good, good, good. So it was really short term increased break risk. Okay, good. Liking this. Hell, with these defensive structures here, we can even like fight people who decide to come around the corner for now. Uh, we'll put a low priority hall, or normal priority hall, I should say. In my mind, that makes it low priority because, you know, it's not the, like, super high priority one. Uh, what do we got? A good statue over here. I will install you there. You are poor, poor, good. I suppose we can put, um, we can put a special art storage zone that's limited to, like, really high quality sculptures. That's actually a very good idea. So if I go and clear just a scooch of a corner over here, just two tiles, and put a stockpile zone here, and the idea with this is I'm going to clear everything. It's going to be critical priority for manufactured items? Items? Art. Sculpture. Okay, there we go. Art. But we are only going to allow things that are good or better over here. So it's critical. This is where good or better art will get stored, right there. I think that's probably an excellent way. So I just have to peek in that corner. If there's anything there, I can deploy it. Everything else is going to get sold. Love it. Trenka is still here. We could do a little trading, but they don't tend to have a lot of goods. So I don't particularly care. They also don't tend to have a lot of money. Now starting to make sandstone blocks. Now, I think I did have it to like any, any block right now. I actually will go and specify marble blocks up top first. Um, do until X, where X is the thousand boom shoot frenzy it'll just be easier if we like keep making blocks of one type because then i can just keep using that one type of thing to construct things with and not worry about like having to switch material types and also having mismatched walls so we're going to do that we do have tons of marble kicking around just that there was some sandstone a little closer mm -hmm. failed to build the door that's okay build 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 We'll have to set up the auto rearm. I don't know why it's not turned on by default. Are they worried about people like running into like a battle area to rearm them? I don't know. Seems like you'd always want the auto rearm on because otherwise it's easy to forget. And it doesn't help. And I think they may have fixed this at some point. Who's starving? Time Havoc? Do we not have food? Uh, uh, okay, let's do a little bit of trading. Tell me, uh, Trance, that you have a little bit of food with you. I'm going to buy all your pemmican, which is not very much. I'm going to buy your herbal meds. I suppose I could buy your vodka. Because we do have a lot of sake. We should be okay. I can sell you various weapons, which is interesting. I don't want to sell my maces. Maybe these crappy guns. I only have 60 bucks. Oops. Let's do something like that. Okay, so we got a tiny bit of pemmican. So that's at least something. Yeah, there's literally... I saw an iguana earlier, but I don't think it's on the map anymore. Now, we can, like, ask for a trade caravan, right? That's something that was added in here. Um, I don't know who they are. Hold on. Uh, relations. Factions. Dagger Desert. So the White Desert conglomeration is possibly they they're Neolithic. Industrial. I don't know, maybe we'll talk to the Social Confederation. I'm not sure. I don't know if we have to pay them to request a trade caravan or how it works. We could also send our own trade caravan, but we don't have pack animals. Ouch, that is really expensive. Okay, what about the others? 700 silver. I think we kind of have to. Uh, 
Book goods. Okay, wait four days. Four days, the problem may have resolved itself or gone too far, but we will do our best. We should be able to sell them a few things. Tons of fertilizer for whatever that's worth. So seriously, I still don't know how to make dirt, right? Um, you can just, you can just dig? Mental break, hide in room, urgently hungry. I think not realizing that I could just dig dirt may have cost us a bunch. Dig soil. Uh, do until X, where X is, I don't know, that much. I don't know if it matters what kind of soil we're on. No, oh, you've got it. Here, you can just drop it on the ground whenever it happens. We have a pile of dirt. Well, okay, and we only need up to four of them. Oh my god, I could have done this a million years ago. An aurora? Ooh, pretty lights. Nice. I mean, it's still gonna take a while to get that going now. I still don't know about like heaters and lights and what our solution will be for that. Not to mention just routing power to this room. Although I've got power going over here, so we actually should be okay. It's amazing how like the screen colors keep changing with the auroras. That's really nice. Should we kill someone and eat them? Partially wondering if we're gonna have to. Wow, all this time. We could have gotten this going. Mods are weird, man. All right, construction is a go. At least we can still drink our blues away. Ooh, there we go. We got a superior quality sculpture. I mean, we may be starving to death, but at least we've got pretty things to look at. So, hey, oh, always on. Oh, okay, but this one is the cycle one. Boom. We don't have enough stored metal, really? Is it just hanging out out there? No? Oh. Uh, let's cancel these exploratory tunnels then for now. To mine other stuff. You left a, an ambrosia. I think we can eat ambrosia. It's like super tasty fruit. Slightly addictive to eaten too often. Yeah, well. Tough. How's the temperature in here? Uh, we will need a heater. Later on, we will get heated sun lamps. But we don't have that right now. A lot of work time to get these done. And I like how they, like, they're splitting the work job around so that in the end, nothing is getting actually completed. Amazing. We'll plant some rice. Because it grows really fast. Uh... Rice. Extreme exhaustion. Oh, you were hiding in your room, right. Simian plants? Oh yeah, yes you do, that's right. And we have two planters, okay. We still have that trade caravan coming. We don't have a ton of silver left because we had to spend 700 of it to get them to come. Oh man, I did not realize, realize things were getting so dire. Here, I'm going to force you awake so you can just go sleep in your bed instead now. Get a bit of comfort. Oh, this takes forever. Oh, you've gone berserk. Awesome. Um, yeah, more rice. We may have to go and melee you. If you start some crap. Everyone's running away. Okay, people are mostly on run duty, which is important. Yeah, all right. Uh, all that means nothing can get built over here, which means we're not really growing. Eh, some people are sneaking in there. Okay, get this built. We sort of need to prioritize the sun lamp, although it's possible we don't have the steel for it. Ah. All right, melee attack.
Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Unrecruit everyone. Uh, let's get this out of here. I'm gonna haul this way too. More mental break hide in room. This is not ideal. How badly hurt are these people? Okay, no permanent injuries, although starvation. How's this rice? 83% grown. Oh, we're actually gonna be fine from the rice harvest. Because it does grow fast. So we should be okay there. We've got another good sculpture. Again, everything may be crap, but at least um, that, that door will close as soon as someone walks through there. Just the berserk job. Um, everything may be crap, but at least we won't, I don't think, starve to death. Although it's going to be damn close. Really damn close. Yeah, I may not have needed to spend the silver on the caravan. On the other hand, we might be able to make money selling stuff to them. We do have a few sculptures. And some more crappy weapons. What's this? Ooh, Shanka. Nice. Yeah, we might actually be surprisingly okay. And the bulk goods person, we might actually just buy a bunch of metal from them just to speed some things up. Severe illness. Extreme malnutrition. I know. Here, wake up. I need some stuff for you to do. Well, I don't know if the sculpture is the thing, but... Broken down. Now, we could chop this early, actually. But this should happen pretty quickly. Boom. Okay. Is anyone going down here to harvest? Harvest all plants. Here, putt putt, come here. No? Really? Come here. We'll never do plant cutting. Uh, so actually what I should do then is just use this harvest command here. Just to quickly force the job. And then reset everyone. Go, go, go. Get some rice. If you gotta eat ri raw rice, you eat raw rice. I mean, it'll be a little crunchy, but that's okay. Actually, I wonder if rice right off the plant is crunchy or if it's just after it's been dried. And yeah, they are eating it right away. But what choice do we have? It's either that or starve. Wow, that's some fast growth rate. I mean, we do have a really, really good land, so that's part of it. We're gonna feed the people who are currently in bed. And there were no permanent health injuries here, I don't think. And severe malnutrition. Time Havoc needs some rescue. Here, I'm gonna switch this to an actual medical bed. Yeah, I think hit points are going down for some of these people. There's a bulk goods trader. So, Wark is still, in theory, our best person. I'm going to wait for these guys to come around. At least some people ate before everyone started to collapse onto the ground. That's important. Get a little closer. All right, we're going to go and meet you halfway to wherever now. Hi. Give us food. Um, Soylent Green? <laughs> this is what you bring for us? Okay, first, we're going to sell wools and leathers and stuff like that. That's okay. Hell, even the cloth, the hemp, uh, the synth thread, we're going to do that. Goat hide, herbal meds, we'll keep some of that. That's going to be okay. We might buy steel. Um, we're going to keep the booze, that. Sell some of this clothing, clothing, clothing. Okay. So we've got that. We still have some cash left. I guess we're going to buy... Well, there's a certain amount of desperation. Lots of pemmican. Oh, lots of chinchilla meat. Uh, hopefully we won't eat it raw. I'm worried about feeding people made from high energy plankton. Uh-huh. I don't know if like, I don't know what the response is to eating soy and green, but there is, there's not quite this much desperation, but you know what? The pemmican and the chinchilla meat will be fine and actually will buy, where's your steel? Right here. One ninety, okay. One eighty nine. I guess I could have just hit the arrow at that point. We're gonna spend all our money on that. Put some high priority halls on there. Hopefully, someone will get to cooking, so we don't eat too many raw things. Like, oh, you're probably eating pemmican though. That's gonna be okay. And then you're passing out on the ground. You might not have a bedroom anymore. 
Yeah, sorry about that. We probably need one at some point. Lots of people needing rescue. Hopefully, here, work. I know you're asleep, but you're gonna rescue and rescue. Time Havoc, can I get you out of bed? You can't walk? Because you're extreme malnutrition? You're still starving. Could someone maybe prioritize feeding this person before they die? Like, I do have that as like a level one job over here for everyone, don't I? Feed animals. Feed patients. Well, maybe not literally everyone. And I suppose some people might be patienting first. Bed rest number one is fine. But yeah, we'll do the emergency. What? See? Oh my god. I can't believe that. I'm so pissed that that happened. That no one came around and fed you food. I don't know. That was our researcher. Ah. Oh, MTAC Miner, I'm so sorry you starved to death. We just solved it. We just got tons of food for people. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to go after the bandit camp. And we got a manhunter pack. Uh, that's a lot of monkeys. Put put, get up, actually. Everyone get up that can get up. Get in here. It's not a lot of activity. We got some traps, which will not trigger because the monkeys are too light. Uh, these guys are... I don't know what's going to happen with them. Oh, you're smashing through the door. Okay, you didn't finish smashing through the door, which is good. We're going to help. Yay! All right, meat's back on the menu. Um, all y'all... Let's see here. Zone area. There we first. Um, unforbid everything. All these down monkeys. We're gonna finish off and slash hunt. We'll we'll have both commands. Oh. And let me just go and set for this purpose. Number one priority: hunt on everyone. Regardless of what kind of equipment you have. Oh, Rakung still recruited. Feeding someone. Hunter lacks range weapon. That's okay. You can hunt these guys with just a mace. We'll, we'll mess around with that later on. I mean, they have some down people here, which isn't great. Where are you bringing the monkey? Wouldn't this stockpile have been the thing? Critical priority for, like, dead critters? Maybe someone else had reserved one of the spots. I bet you that's exactly what happened. More monkey meat. We still have a high priority hall over here. We have no particular restrictions about where people stand. Um, I can't believe we lost someone, our researcher. Or who's gonna research now? Uh, I guess it's gonna be Putt Putt. Oh, cool, that does work. Firefight, patient two, bed rest one, hall flick. So you're such a good crafter, but yeah, you're gonna have to be like manage research. That's your full time thing. And if you're slightly idle, you can do a little crafting or mining. That's that. Damn. Okay, still gotta finish off the rest of these monkeys. Which is mostly not gonna be a problem once people are actually up. Are you just chilling at the table? Just relaxing socially. This isn't the most sociable of the tables? I don't know. Grains and flour. That's true. Um, we don't we don't grow flour right now. We do grow corn so we can make cornmeal, but growing some wheat so we can make flour might be a good idea. Um, we can start rescuing these people. Which seems like a fairly good thing to do. Is there only the one? Yeah, someone else had died. But we might be able to get a relationship boost, because certainly they're going to have some bad relationship boosts or some of these other things. Where Kung needs some help now. We do have... Let me put your patienting back up to one here. pain. Oh, you were hit by bolt-action rifles, so you were just stuck in some of the crossfire. That's okay. That's fine. So we have some sort of raw food plus pemmican going on right now. We don't have any cooked meals, but that'll be okay. 
Yeah, hauling these monkeys over there isn't really the highest priority. Like, butchering is the most important thing. Butcher, butcher, butcher. I keep, I swear I keep seeing it and then losing it. Yeah, right here. See, they have a one on that. Force time havoc up. Yeah, eat some food and then maybe do some more butchering and cooking, buddy. Drinking vodka. I'll tell you what, prioritize butchering. Just trying to make some space here. Ramar is no longer in capable of walking. Hooray! Okay. Yeah, the monkey thing was like perfect timing with the caravan. Oh, they were like stacked. I'm like, how did you not kill the monkey? And then I realized they were killing, they did kill the monkey. They were carrying around the body. A little bit more of that. And yeah, things are just keep getting full over here. We don't get tons of meat per. Oh, that's chinchilla. I actually don't know how much uh, meat we get per, but it's something at least. A little bit of fur. It's all going to be good. Got the composter. Still waiting for some of these things to get constructed so we can grow things permanently. I don't think we're going to have a food shortage again in the future, but yeah. Do, 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 do. And we are going to be growing stuff in here that we can make alcohol with. Now, uh, rice we can. Um, I was thinking mostly potatoes for vodka production since it seems to be a little easier. Got some starvation problems. Time habit. Like, just eat something. Could you not eat the raw food? Tell you what, why don't you go and cook something? And then I'll get you to eat your cooked meal. Where the hell are you going? Oh, no one hauled in the rice. Which, I mean, is kind of reasonable. I understand. There's some rice there, which is bit annoying. You're making, uh, uh, you're eating raw meal. It's too late now. You've done it already. Reset you. There you go. Now you can have stir fry, which actually gives you positive woodlets and everything. You're going to carry some of that. Eating some, or drinking some alcohol, going back to bed. At least we got some meals started. Not enough that, yeah, some people aren't going to be eating raw food, but... Yeah, keep grilling kebabs. Thank you. That's going to be really good. Okay, so much blood. Um, I don't have the cleaning job set for out here. Uh, this is probably a good place to put it, though. Let's see. Expand, clean. Oh, some of it is actually covered. Let's do this entire, like, area right here. Where people are going to be walking a lot. I assume this blood's going to go away at some point, but I'm not sure. Orange has died because of infection. Oh. Well, you know... I don't think we had him on, like, full medicine job, and actually, we, he may not have been doctored properly, but hey, we tried. More starvation? Oh. Uh, finish cooking this, and then you can go ahead and eat whatever you want. Awesome. Cheers. Where are you going? Butchering? Okay, excellent. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, wait, Radical died as well? Oh, crap. I missed that completely. Oh. Well, that's incredibly disappointing. Um, let's go ahead and uh, and bury. And uh, someone else was over there. Solar generator is broken down. That's okay. So our colonists are being buried. That is at least something. But yeah, we've lost a couple of really good people in the great uh, starvation of 5501. We're so close to not having that be an issue. Geothermal part power is done. And yeah, we do need to queue up some more stuff. Um, there we go, it's the hotkey here, it keeps throwing me off. What do we research at this point? Hospital beds and everything would be really good. The multi-analyzer may be worthwhile, just get a little tech research boost. And I think we are gonna do that. But I think after this, I'm gonna queue up either some of the cooking or drug production or something like that. Canned goods for long distance transport would be nice. Uh, I don't think we need the resource plants yet. There's like the heated sun lamps and everything. You know what? Shift Q that. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel you and you. And we'll just get some heated sun lamps built up in here. As for geothermal, we've got our wall. We're still waiting for some of these things up. We're a little low on steel steer here. Oh, we got a bunch of dead people that I didn't realize so many people died trying to leave the map. Dope. So we'll just unforbid it. That's going to be fine. We got a food binge, which is a little sketchy right now. 
I don't know how many people are actively cooking, which is a bit of a problem. What are you making? You're making fertilizer. I don't understand. Fertilizer is not a job in the queue. Unless that's just what you're calling compost starter. I think it is. 30, 75. Yeah, okay. So it says making fertilizer, but it's actually a compost starter job. Okay. Which seems fine. Yeah, so I think the composter makes fertilizer, but differently? I don't know. All right, research is good. At least you've got skill for that. That's at least one thing we've got going for us. And hey, we've got extra bedrooms now, so that's also nice. Verkung, what's your problem, man? Yeah, you did get hurt a little bit. Yeah, nothing that's gonna cause us serious long-term problems. Uh, you're bringing that in. Oh, you're consuming that pemmican is what you're doing. Okay, yeah, you can do that. We got a little bit of, what is this? Apple cider, ooh, I like cider. Cider's good. We're probably gonna get a proper raid soon, which we're not really well set up to deal with. If I'm being perfectly realistic. So one thing that would help with something like that is if we did have, and I'll use marble again for now, some sort of wall set up. You know, like this, so that people aren't really getting in there. Um, we're gonna need an air, a way to get in, which I think I'll, I'll just put a door here for now. But, where am I? As I was say, the other nice thing to do would just be to mine out to here and put a door there. Short term, we might want a door here anyway. So I will go ahead and do it. Um, we'll put a marble door again. You know, tough to walk through, but that's okay. We got some visitors with some items to trade. Not many. We want to recruit anyone? We just lost some people. Psychically dull, green thumb, nervous. Good with animals, not very sociable, good at growing. Yeah, you know what? I mean, you're not terrible. Uh, health? Yeah. happy aesthetic with some skills you know what we'll, we'll give them a try we're pretty incompetent at researching but we'll see what we can do Verkung needs treatment do you though I'm not convinced that you truly do need treatment so yeah I went through the trouble of trying to desperately set this up and not really doing anything with it yet but turns out it took too long the berserk period didn't help herbal meds things are considered refrigerated over here um, just I'm going to put a high priority haul on here because I'm a little worried that it'll take too long to get some of the stuff in. And it's just going to decay while outdoors. So we're just going to do a quick little run this way. Auto door soon would also be really nice. You know, a little auto door here or here. Just one of them. Probably just there. And then our, our colonists can keep walking through this area. I assume they consider the auto door to be less of a pathfinding concern than other types of doors. And that would be very good. So I don't know, um, we do have some people set up on negotiate. They're not very good. Simon, uh, Simon here, Simone over here is at least pretty, which might help. I don't know if it gives a higher percentage chance of recruiting people, but it probably increases the chance that social interactions in terms of making friends and boosting relationships goes up faster. So it's probably gonna be a net win. Hauling the wood wasn't maybe that important, but it was still decaying from being unroofed. And it'll be nice to have access to that. We do have a bunch of neutromine we picked up earlier. Getting a drug lab set up would be another way to make some money. Still very, very low on meals. Although we have raw resources. So yeah, I was going to say, at some point that's going to get... Um, we are getting meals made, which is the important bit. I could leave this door open at this point, And I think I will. Because um, I was worried at one point for the temperature thing. But I think that was before we had this door properly set up. It's quite warm in there, actually. Uh, this still needs to be sealed, and that's another good contender for some auto doors, just to save a little bit of time over here. Luckily, the walking distance isn't as bad as it has been in some of my previous bases, so. How have you not been buried yet? Putt putt, could you... Someone. Bury this damn colonist, please. Thank you. It's shameful. Shameful that it hadn't happened yet. All right, we're going to go and put a pause in here. I'm terribly sorry that some of you died. Definitely, you know, I, I think we didn't need to have that happen. But at the same time, now we have the story of the Great Famine of 5501. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you guys next time.